Thus it comes. It'd be there in the paper. Imber's voice sank in whisperful awe as he crackled the sheets to its thumb and finger and stared at the characters scrawled thereon. It'd be a great medicine, Hauken, and thou art a worker of wonders. It'd be nothing, it'd be nothing, the young man responded carelessly and pridefully. He read at hazard from the document. In that year, before the break of the ice, came an old man and a boy who was lame of one foot. These also did I kill, and the old man made much noise. It be true, Imber interrupted breathlessly. He made much noise, and would not die for a long time. But how dost thou know, Hauken? The chief man of the white men told thee, mayhap. No one beheld me, and him alone have I told. Hauken shook his head with impatience. Have I not told thee it be there in the paper, O oh fool? Imber stared hard at the ink-scrawled surface. As the hunter looks upon the snow and says, Here but yesterday there passed a rabbit, and here by the willow scrub it stood and listened and heard and was afraid, and here it turned upon its trail, and here it went with great swiftness, leaping wide, and here with greater swiftness and wider leapings came a lynx, and here, where the claws cut deep into the snow, the lynx made a very great leap, and here it struck, with the rabbit under and rolling belly up, and here leads off the trail of the lynx alone, and there is no more rabbit. As the hunter looks upon the markings of the snow, and says thus and so, and here dost thou too look upon the paper, and say thus and so, and here be the things old Imber hath done. Even so, said Hauken, and now do thou listen, and keep thy woman's tongue between thy teeth, till thou art called upon for speech. Thereafter, and for a long time, Hauken read to him the confession, and Imber remained musing and silent. At the end he said, It be my talk, and true talk, but I am grown old, Hauken, and forgotten things come back to me which were well for the headman there to know. First, there was the man who came over the ice mountains with cunning traps made of iron, who sawed the beaver of the whitefish. Him I slew, and there were three men seeking gold on the whitefish long ago. Them also I slew, and left them to the wolverines. And at the five fingers there was a man with a raft, and much meat. At the moments when Imber paused to remember, Hauken translated, and a clerk reduced to writing. The courtroom listened stolidly to each unadorned little tragedy, till Imber told of a red-haired man whose eyes were crossed and whom he had killed with a remarkably long shot. Hell, said a man in the forefront of the onlookers. He said it soulfully and sorrowfully. He was red-haired. Hell, he repeated, that was my brother Bill. And at regular intervals throughout the session, his solemn hell was heard in the courtroom. Nor did his comrades check him, nor did the man at the table wrap him to order.